we manufacture kilns and furnaces um, probably I should say 20-30% of our kilns and furnaces are going into the artistic uh, side of uh, uh, the business. You know, they're, they're going to artists making ceramics, making pottery, um, and also into the artists manufacturing glass products like slumping and fusing and that type of thing. That's traditionally where the company comes from. Um, we have moved away to a lo large extent from that because owing to the problems we had back in 2008 uh, these individual artists are finding it more difficult to raise capital to be able to buy plant and, and equipment and so we'd have to look at, in, at different uh, or, um, possibilities and there we are looking into um, the small companies manufacturing jewellery companies manufacturing dental teeth <laughs> teeth <laughs> so it'd be the dental technicians we'd be dealing with not the dentists um, we're also looking at tiles, glass tiles, and um, mosaics. Mainly small companies who are producing stuff for the local market. Um, and then on the other side, using similar kilns, we are looking at the large companies like the mines and the steel industries uh, who use them in their laboratories. Um, we're finding that there's much more interest in those type of products nowadays um, than we are in, in, the, in the large expensive um, pottery type kilns. If you go back probably 20 years or something like that, um, <coughs> most of the uh, dinner services and that type of thing were produced in this country uh, by um, studios that, that were manufacturing for sale. The, the large uh, uh, retail outlets. <coughs> Nowadays you're finding that those retail outlets are in fact bringing the stuff in from overseas, from China and from India and places like that. And the small uh, studios who were making a living making uh, pottery for the, the, the dinner table and for pot, uh, potty plants and so on have gone out of business. They're not manufacturing anymore. And so there's one sphere of the whole pottery industry which has disappeared. Um, whereas we originally had artists and then we had semi-skilled uh, companies manufacturing dinner plates and so on, um, they've gone, uh, leaving quite a big void. And the type of furnace that they used to use was probably the larger range that we made and also they used shuttle kilns and trolley kilns and that type of thing um, which were quite expensive. They're, they're, they're just not there anymore and so we've basically had to fill that void by looking at smaller kilns which are being used by the mines, being used by uh, laboratories, being used by uh, jewellery manufacturers and uh, that type of outlet.